does it make you feel when somebody's praying for you? Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of The Daily Devo. Don't forget, you can find these Daily Devos and many other resources over at my website, pastorpete.org. Today I've been reading out of the Gospel of John, chapter 17, and there's a particular section of this chapter that always catches me and and just captivates my heart because there's somebody in this passage who's very special who's praying for us. I don't know about you, but when when I hear somebody's praying for me, when somebody texts me or calls me or emails me or just passes me in the store and says, "Hey, I've been praying for you this week or I've been thinking about you this week or or I've been lifting you up to the Father this week." It 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 always encourages me. It always inspires me. It comforts me. And it energizes me. It does so much for me when I know somebody's praying for me. And here in John chapter 17, we see that Jesus prays for us or is praying for us here to his Father. What an amazing thing to think that our Savior, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, prayed for us. Here's what it says. I'm just going to read a short portion of it for the sake of time, but here's what it says, starting in verse 9. This is Jesus. He says, I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they are yours. Everything I have is yours, and everything you have is mine, and I am glorified in them. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by your name, that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. And his prayer for you and me continues. If you are a believer, Jesus has prayed for you. He knows that we are in the world. He knows that we are going to struggle. He knows that we are going to be tempted. He knows that there's going to be persecution. He knows that there are going to be trials and tragedies. He knows there are going to be hard and difficult days. And so he prayed for us as his disciples amazing, amazing thing to think and to know that Jesus prayed for you. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel to know that the Savior of the world had the forethought to pray for you? It makes me feel incredible. It energizes me. It pumps me up and it gets me ready for whatever's coming my way because I know I have a Savior who cares. I hope you'll take some time today and pray for your friends, pray for your family, pray for your co-workers. And you know what? I hope you'll let them know that you've prayed for them, maybe in a subtle way, whatever's appropriate. Different situations will bring different levels of appropriateness to that conversation. But I hope you'll let people know you're lifting them up. The way you feel when somebody says that they are praying for you is the same way they're going to feel when they find out you have been praying for them. So pray for them and let them know they've been prayed for. I hope you have an incredible day. I hope God blesses you today, and I hope you find comfort in knowing that the Savior of the world has prayed for you. Come over and visit me, pastorpete.org. Sign up for our daily newsletter there on the website, and share this post with a friend. Until we meet tomorrow, may God bless you. 